Hey everyone, and welcome to Tech Bytes, brought to you by MASSP. My name is Ryan Casey, and I'm excited to be bringing you this month's resource, which is called Video Notes. That's video n o t dot e s. And just as it sounds, it's a resource that allows you to take notes while watching a video. And basically, it works by presenting a video on one side of your screen that you're watching, and a notepad on the other side, so you can take notes. And what's great about this is it syncs with your Google Drive so you can get these notes and bring them back up at any time that they are needed. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to get started, how to timestamp your notes that you're taking to the video you're watching, how to sync video notes with your Google Drive, and more. And along the way, we'll talk about examples on how principals can use this with their staff and how teachers can even use this in the classroom with students. So let's get started. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Video Notes website. So in your web browser, you want to go to videonot.es. Again, that's videonot.es. And that should take you to this screen that I have up right now. And basically, uh, what they do on this screen is just give you a quick preview of uh, how the resource works and the different videos that it works with. And you can see on this first picture of the little laptop here, basically a video will be on the left side of your screen and your notepad area will be on the right side. You can see all the different types of videos that Video Notes works with. Uh, the three most popular uh, being on the right here. So it does work with Khan Academy, Vimeo, and YouTube. So if there's a video out there on the web that you found, chances are Video Notes will work with it. And then basically it just gives some examples of the features and how it works with taking the notes um, and how it works and it integrated with Google Drive. So you can share the document, you can organize the document, uh, anything that you can do in Google Drive with a Google Doc, you can do with video notes. So the very first thing we're going to do to get started is go ahead and connect this to our Google Drive. So I'm going to click on that button and I'm going to sign in with my Google information. What's nice about this is it's not requiring a different username account or a uh, separate password that you have to keep track of or memorize. It's basically an add-on for Google. And once we get logged in, it'll take us to our editor page where we can go ahead and get started and start checking out some videos and taking notes. So now we're ready to start taking our first video note. So if we move over to the left side of our screen, this is where we basically need to enter a video URL or a link um, that we pulled from Khan Academy or YouTube, and then that's going to load on the left-hand side. So I already have a video that I found, so I'm going to paste that in there, and I'm going to hit the Load Video button. And in this example, I found a video that is basically um, a video or recording of a classroom observation. So maybe I'm a principal and I want to practice maybe some of my scribing or some of my coding work. Maybe I'm working with my admin team because I want to make sure we're all on the same page. So we're going to do some practicing of watching uh, sample classroom observations. The video is loaded on the left hand side of the screen ready to go. Notice that I can play and I can adjust my sound just like a normal video player. On the right hand side of the screen is where I'm going to start taking my notes and it's going to timestamp. So I'm going to hit play. Okay guys, um, we're going to continue with what we've been talking about a little bit and hopefully making this make a little bit more sense. We're going to hit again supporting. Uh... So I'm going to start taking notes on the side and as I do this, watch what happens with the time stamping. Um, your determination and supporting um, your determination for a response with specific textual evidence. And to do that, I think today will make it all come home. Some of you did really well on the pretest. Others had a little bit more difficulty. That's where you got a couple pretests because I was trying to hone in on what we really were trying to figure out, what I was trying to figure out, and how I can better support you. So today we're going to determine tone of nonfiction text by evaluating the effective word choice. We've got five different articles of Malcolm X's assassination. that. We so I'm gonna pause it right here. I'm about 45 seconds into the video. You'll notice that as I was taking my notes, it timestamped them, right? So from she was talking about her learning targets at about the 17 second mark, all the way to 
um, where we're at right now. And what's really cool about video notes is if I want to go back and say, man, I'm not sure if I caught all that, or I want to revisit that point in the video, all I have to do is click on the note, and you'll notice that it, down here it skips me to that point in the video. So I can go back to my very first note, which was at the 14 second mark, my latest note, which is at the 37 second mark, so you're not trying to struggle keeping up with a video that's going too fast or too slow. You're not losing your spot, trying to uh, scrub back to the exact uh, you know, minute mark or second mark on a video where you're trying to find some point of reference. Uh, I can even skip ahead in the video. I'm going to skip to the three minute mark and the, the notepad will keep up with that. It'll know that I've skipped ahead so when I start making my next note it'll work. So. Your page three minutes. number will correspond to wherever you are now in your notebook for this entry. So they may be different from everybody else in your group, all right? Okay, so if we look, you have four, the first four of these are copied from Analyzing So you can see that it knew that we skipped to the three minute, four second mark in the video. Again, I can still go forward, I can go backwards. So I just gotta click on the specific note point and the video will adjust. So a really easy way to keep your information um, organized and synced so you're not getting lost. So now that we're done taking our video notes, we're going to go ahead and save the document, uh, give it a new name, and then we're going to talk about how this works with Google Drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and change the name. I'm going to call this uh, Observation Practice. And you'll notice under that we have some different icons here. So if we just go through these real quick, you can see the first icon gives you the option to open a new note which will basically open up a, a new tab so you can have a couple of different notes loaded at the same time. We could open up our folder to see some of the other video notes uh, files that maybe we want to open. We can save the note so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna click on save. Say, see it said saved to Google Drive. And then I can even export this to Evernote. So for the users out there that use Evernote for a cloud storage system uh, you could hit that option. And the last button we're going to take a look at is way over on the right, and that is the share button. And you'll notice that if I click on this, this is going to look identical to how sharing a document in Google Drive works. Again, because these are connected, it has the same uh, features and capabilities of sharing and collaborating in Google Drive. So I'm going to hit done. So again, if you imagine this, uh, this scenario where maybe a principal and the staff or the principal and his or her admin team are watching a video together, they could share these video notes out so they could already see them pre-filled in and pre-timestamped, or maybe they uh, take turns adding different notes to the document in the video. Uh, perhaps a PLC or a teaching department uh, watches a video on best practices together and take notes or even better yet maybe a teacher records their own lesson to share with their department or PLC and then they can take notes on that together just imagine what a powerful uh, learning opportunity that would be so now that we have this saved I'm gonna switch over to Google Drive just to show you how this works uh, in that area so you'll notice that when I click on my drive I have a list of folders available and when we signed in, we gave Video Notes permission to access our Google Drive, and a folder was created. So you see the Video Notes folder there. I'm going to click on that, and you'll see all the different video notes that I have added here. So there's my most recent one, the Observation Practice. Again, I could delete it from here if I wanted to. I could share it out. Um, you can share it in Video Notes, or you can share it in Google Drive. You can reorganize this, rename it. So all the same features that you would normally have in Google Drive. Um, are available to your video notes. And those are the basic features of video notes. So again, once you get it synced with your Google Drive, I think it's pretty easy to use and uh, understand. So I think this really is a powerful resource that can be used in a couple of different ways. You know, first and foremost, uh, for an individual learner, whether you're a student, teacher, or a principal, uh, this makes it a lot easier to watch a video and take notes without having to switch tabs back and forth from YouTube tab to then maybe a Google Doc or Microsoft Word. Again, things are time stamped and marked so you're not wasting time trying to find uh, a reference point in a video because it tracks that for you. But I think this can also work uh, in terms of being a facilitator. So a principal 
um, or a, a staff could uh, mark a point in a video with a video note so that they've already done that work for the learner and then they can go answer some questions or find the details themselves as they watch the video. This can absolutely be used in the classroom with students. I mean, teachers think about how many times a student uh, says, oh, you're going too fast on the video or they're too slow, um, but you want them to take notes while watching a video, so there's some accountability there. So this might be an option for you in the classroom as well. Uh, if you want to learn more about video notes, I included some links on your screen and in the comment section, so feel free to check those out. I would also appreciate it if you can take a minute or two and give me some feedback and fill out the survey using the link on your screen to let me know how I'm doing with these Tech Bytes and on uh, this month's video topic, video notes. And also you can include suggestions on other Tech Byte topics you'd like me to cover in the future. So on behalf of MASSP, I want to thank everybody for watching this today. Uh, have a great day and thanks for listening.